Hey, what's up? So if you're anything like me, then you're probably also addicted to your phone. And I don't like having a phone addiction because I feel like I spend a lot of time on my phone and I don't do anything productive, right? So I do things like I'll keep my phone downstairs, I'll plug it in the bathroom downstairs so it's hard for me to check. I don't bring it upstairs where I work or where I sleep. And I have a lot of apps that will block other apps on my phone. So I'm, I try to stay productive, right? The good thing about phone addiction is that you know that you have addiction, right? So it's pretty easy to address, right? And the bad thing about phone addiction is that it wastes your time. But what if I told you that there's something that you're probably even more addicted to than your phone and it's probably even more detrimental detrimental to your life than your phone addiction. And that thing is you're actually addicted to your thoughts. So you're addicted to your mind having thoughts and all the thoughts your mind has. And it's really important to state up front is that your thoughts are not you. Okay. You are this being that observes your mind having thoughts. Your mind is just an object that has thoughts. All right. Does that make sense? Your mind has thoughts and you experience them and you feel like they're yours. You feel like they're you, but they're not. And the thoughts that you have are not yours. They just come and they, they come and they go. And it's very important that you understand this. And you're addicted to your thoughts because you let these thoughts influence how you feel, how you, how you act, right? And it's, it's, gonna, it's really detrimental to your life. It's hard to live that way because you have all these thoughts that you can't control. So a really good example I read in this book was, was this, right? So let's say, for example, you have a girlfriend and you're supposed, your girlfriend's supposed to call you at a certain time and your girlfriend doesn't call you. And you're waiting and you're waiting and she doesn't call you. And you start thinking, oh my God, what is she doing? Is she okay? And more time goes by, oh, is she cheating on me? Is she doing this? Is she doing that? You start worrying about all these things. And then they say four hours go by, she calls you, hey, sorry, I forgot. Or say, hey, my phone ran out of batteries or whatever. She had a good reason she didn't call you, okay? And then now you're like, oh my God, that everything's fine now, right? And everything's okay again. But then you don't really address like all that crazy stuff you're thinking about earlier. And if your friend was telling you all this crazy stuff, you would like never, you would be like, yo, I'm never taking advice from you again. But since it's your, your, it's your mind telling you, you're, you're just like, oh, it's fine. You just, it's fine. You just, you just trust, the, you trust your mind again, you know, the next day. So isn't it kind of crazy that your mind can give you all this advice that's super terrible or just give you really bad ideas in your head that aren't, that aren't good for your life and you just listen to it and you just keep listening to it over and over again? It doesn't really make any sense, right? And anytime you feel uncomfortable, for example, your mind feels uncomfortable, you just immediately feel the need to leave, right? Or anytime you're in a situation where you feel very comfortable, then you feel the need to stay, right? And you just really let your mind dictate your, your feelings and what you want to do. And you're probably not even aware of it. And this is why I say this is probably even worse. This is probably even a worse addiction than being addicted to your phone, uh, especially because you're not aware of it. So I guess the question is, is there a world where you're able to just separate yourself from your mind and not listen to your mind anymore? I'm sure there is. I'm, I'm not quite there yet, but I think the first step is just being aware. Once you're aware of this happening, then you can just anytime a thought comes up, you can, just be, you can acknowledge it and just let it go. I think that would be the first step. So, so yeah, hope this helps. Hope this makes you aware of the fact that you are not your thoughts and you're not your mind and it helps br brings you on a better journey of just understanding yourself. And by the way, I probably spent the last two years making videos. I probably made over a hundred something videos and I haven't been able to bring myself to say this. And I think it's because deep down I'm scared of saying it, but if you liked the video, I would appreciate it if you liked and subscribed, it would help my channel grow and uh, yeah, or leave a comment would help as well. I think uh, getting a little bit of external validation is great motivation for me. So really appreciate it. Thanks.